What is up, everybody? It's your man, Lukey, and I am back with a new episode for y'all. Before we get started, though, I've got enough golf courses requested thanks to all you guys and gals that consistently tune into this channel. So now what I'm going to ask you to do is to look on the screen right now at the courses in Sacramento, the East Bay, San Francisco Peninsula area, San Jose, and Napa, and really help me pick out the next four or so courses I should play because unfortunately this week I wasn't able to play golf but I'm gonna still try my best to give you guys and gals quality content. Let's get into this week's episode. Ever since the 80s, when Pete Dye created the historic TPC Sawgrass Golf Course, Island Greens have been a staple of great golf courses. Everyone watches the Players Championship and says to themselves, man, I'd love to hit that tee shot. You know, I'd love to get up there and hit this dramatic shot over water and feel what that feels like. And the problem is most of us that end up playing TPC Sawgrass pay about $450, maybe more, maybe less. And we probably hit it off the hosel into the water and that's our memory of that golf courses. But I thought a great idea today would be what are the holes in Northern California, where I'm kind of based out of, that use the element of the island green that the golfer in my area could go play and we will look at each one and show you which one might be the best fit for you, which one you could have the most enjoyment. Before we get into this vlog, I would like to say one thing. We forgot to mention San Ramon Golf Club or golf course. I don't know the specific exact word for it. I have yet to play there, but I have been told they have an island green. So I don't want to leave them out. And if anyone has played a golf course in the Northern California area and I did not include the island green, please leave it in the comments below and inform me on that because I think this is such a popular type of hole that we should definitely examine that in the future. The first island green I want to talk about is at Emerald Lakes, which is very much a course inspired by TPC Sawgrass in my opinion. It has a lot of water which punishes stray shots and it's very much target golf. Their signature hole, in my opinion, is this par 3. It is an island green that's a narrow target. The greens are typically pretty fast and a shot caught thin will typically go in the water and a shot caught fat will go into the water. This course and this hole embodies the island green concept Pete Dye used and is very punishing, not unlike Pete Dye and what he loved to build his golf courses around. The next course I'm gonna bring up is Davis Golf Course, which is in Davis, California. They have this hole the seventh to be exact, in which many people that I know call it Splash City. But I wanted to incorporate it because a lot of people don't talk about Davis Golf Course. Percy Dye actually made a replica of TPC Sawgrass in Sacramento as the 17th hole of Bartley Cavanaugh. This hole, oddly enough, I feel is one of the more forgiving island greens in the general area. It requires a wedge shot in and plays extremely fair. This is probably the, the island green I would most recommend for most people. One of my favorite courses growing up and where people took me as a young person, even though I didn't really stay with the game of golf, is Antelope Greens. Antelope Greens seventh hole is a near replica of TPC Sawgrass and this course is so much fun and I can't recommend playing this hole enough at Antelope Greens, especially for the price point. The last course I'm gonna bring up is Eagle Vines. Eagle Vines at the time I played it during the pandemic didn't have the water surrounding it, but this might be the most difficult version of the Pete Dye course, Island Green, because you're not taking a wedge into this hole. You're taking a mid iron or in some cases, 
maybe even a hybrid for some players, and attacking a very long and spacious green, which, depending on where you land on the green, you still may be in jeopardy of a three putt. It brings in position as well as being able to keep the ball in play. Thank you for watching this vlog. I appreciate anyone who contributes or subscribes or even likes a video. This is a passion project and I'm just trying to do the best I can.